to get started. Okay, so what are the related services? Well, in IDEA Section 300, in general, the related services are means transportation, such as developmental, corrective, and other supportive services that are required to assist a child with a disability to benefit from special education and include speech language pathology, audiology services, interpreting services, psychological services, physical, occupational therapy, recreation, including therapeutic recreation, early identification and assessment of disabilities in children, counseling services, including rehabilitation counseling, orientation and mobility services, and medical services for diagnostic or evaluation purposes. Related services also include school health service and school nurse services, social work services in schools, and parent counseling and training. And that's a huge chunk to talk about. So that is re referencing IDEA section 300, and that is the direct quote. Um, what we're gonna be looking at in the IEP is section six, labeled special education, related services, supplementary aids and services and program modifications. That's a lot to take in. This is gonna be breaking all of that down. Okay, but essentially um, related services are anything that uh, can assist your child in being able to access the general education or a free and appropriate public education um, as indicated in the law. So when are related services determined? Well, related services are considered as soon as the referral is made. So if you request an evaluation or if um, someone in the school suggests uh, an evaluation, then that is when we begin to think about what kind of related services that might help your child pertaining to their specific disability. Uh, determining what related services as a student needs, uh, the IEP team is going to review all the evaluation information and identify any related services that that child needs, and they will include them in the IEP. After the team determines the related services, what are needed, um, they're going to also talk about how the services are going to be delivered. So is that going to be a direct or an indirect service? <clears throat> so for instance, is this going to be a one-on-one? -on -one? Um, is someone going to be directly teaching your child? Or is this an indirect service, a training for uh, personnel, someone who's going to be working with your child? Frequency of the service. So for example, is this going to be happening once a week, twice a month, once a month? And how long? The duration of the service. Is this 30 minutes per week for 120 minutes per month? How is that going to break down? Um, where will the service be provided? Is it going to be in the general education classroom or a resource room, occupational therapy room? Um, and when will the service begin? Uh, these are the dates. We plan to initiate this, um, obviously, after everything has been talked about and approved. <clears throat> And that's when, when will it go to? Uh, training the school and staff and students and parents and skills to help manage the students. So these are all things that are referenced in related services. So for instance, if a parent needs help understanding how um, a child needs to access uh, any technology that they need to use to be able to work better in school, then that training has to be done by the school to help that parent access that and teach teach and work with their child. So what are some related services? You're probably going to notice some of them right off the bat and you've heard about them and we're going to talk about those and there might be some that you are not familiar with or at least not as familiar with. So for instance, speech language pathology and audiology services, interpreting services, psychological services, physical and occupational therapy, Recreation, including therapeutic recreation, <clears throat> early identification and assessment of disabilities in children, counseling services, including rehabilitation counseling, orientation and mobility services, medical services for diagnostic evaluation purposes, school health services, school nurse services, social work services, transportation, parent counseling and training. Um, these are all very important and it's not an exhaustive list. 
because you have to remember that we're looking at services that are going to help your child to access uh, the general education learning or learning in general. So for instance, we know speech and language pathology um, and audiology services, interpreting services. Obviously, if your child, if their uh, first language is not English, and that is the language um, spoken in the school, then they perhaps might need someone who does, who is able to um, interpret things for them or make it more understandable. Psychological services, uh, obviously school counseling or services that can help them, you know, deal with anything that might be going on in their life, uh, physical, occupational therapy, recreation, including therapeutic recreation. So that might, for instance, be something like a social skills class, something to help your child with they need help making friends or um, they struggle in social situations. Early identification and assessment that's child find. So for instance, like we talked about when they are trying to find related services that begins as early as uh, referral. Counseling services, including rehabilitation counseling. So OVR for instance, might be brought in uh, for a transition to help someone with, you know, sort of access career training, things like that. Uh, orientation and mobility services help the child to sort of access their surroundings, um, have the ability to get around and feel successful in the school setting, medical service for diagnostic or evaluation purposes, school health services, school nurse services. We know a lot of those uh, social work in schools. If there are things that the family's dealing with or the child's dealing with, then they need someone to sort of help with <clears throat> other things outside of the school. Uh, transportation. How is that child going to get to the school if there is no way for them to get to the school? Do they need um, help in accessing the bus? Do they need um, perhaps a van to come out to their home? Uh, parent and counseling training. And this is something I think a lot of people don't know or um, it's not talked about a lot where if there is something that you feel you might need training in to better help your child uh, do their best in school. A good example is ABA. You know, a lot of parents, their children receive ABA uh, in school uh, by a contracted service or in the school and maybe learning how to um, use ABA in the home can help that child do better in school by keeping that consistent. So that might be a training that they would uh, benefit from. There are services that are not included. And uh, as of 2004, IDEA, IDEA had to sort of make that clear. So for instance, surgical devices that are such as cochlear implants, pacemakers, insulin pumps, and other surgically implanted medical devices, they are not uh, services that are included for related services. The school is required to routinely check to see if it's working. So if perhaps um, you have a hearing aid or and you're having a hard time hearing, uh, they might need to bring that up to the parent and let them know that might be something to look into. So they're just sort of, they might need to see if, for instance, a hearing aid might need batteries or if it's something that something's going on that you might need to check with your doctor. Some services we might be more familiar with, like we talked about our speech language therapy, um, used to address receptive and expressive language, assist with pronunciation, functional language. So um, conversational, is their language being used appropriately? Are they able to man for things that they need? Helping a child communicate more effectively. Are they being understood when they're speaking to someone? Are they able to understand when someone's speaking to them? Occupational therapy helps a child to navigate their everyday activities, become more independent. Um, they might focus on helping with sensory sensitivity. A lot of children deal with that in school, uh, strengthening some of their fine motor skills to help with handwriting. They might provide alternatives or um, something to help sensory seekers to prevent them from having issues during the school day. Physical therapy can help strengthen child's gross motor skills, their core strength, their stamina, flexibility, increased movement. Um, this is psychological services. I'm, that's a typo. 
Counseling can help a child learn coping skills, increase positive behaviors, and decrease negative behaviors. And transportation, as we had just said, help a child to get to and from school in, this, in a safe way. Uh, that's also a job of related service. So some other services, which we also talked about, recreation, including therapeutic, clubs, recess, social skills, early identification of assessment of disabilities in children, again, child find, counseling services, including rehabilitation counseling, such as OVR or assisting in job coaching, um, school counselor to help children who might be going through something that is uh, affecting their school day, um, orientation and mobility services, helping someone navigate their surroundings, <clears throat> medical services for diagnostic or evaluation purposes. So for instance, if you feel something um, might be going on uh, with um, your child sort of accessing uh, their surroundings, they might need physical therapy. You might need a um, medical doctor's prescription for something like that or uh, something diagnostic and the school can sort of point you in the right direction and help you to receive those services into this in the school uh, school health services school nurse services so if your child needs um, a nurse to maybe they have diabetes uh, and they need to re receive insulin during the school day uh, they school would be able to provide something to that for that uh, social work services in schools, for instance, you know, if a child is homeless and they need help to get things to um, <clears throat> things in place to help them succeed, uh, those are things that also are present in the schools related services. And parent counseling and training, as we had said before, um, that's for if you feel that there's something that your child's receiving in the school re related to anything regarding perhaps their um, a device that they've begun using to help them communicate. If the parent needs training on how to use that, uh, that's something the school can provide. If they need training, perhaps in learning how to um, use ABA at home so that it's more successful in the school and at home, um, then school can provide that as well. Okay, so um, now we're gonna take questions. Uh, we'll stop the recording. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the related services in the IEP? There was a lot of stuff, and I talk very fast sometimes. <laughs> so um, if 